Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today we are doing a premiere draft of Ikoria. Um, haven't done a draft video in a while, and to be honest, I haven't played a ton of Ikoria draft. We did a little bit on stream uh, a couple of times, but uh, yeah, I wanted to just um, you know dive in and, and uh, check back. Um, since like my original draft guy video, um, we've actually gotten um, human drafting, or they call it premiere drafting, um, on Arena. Um, so yeah, you'll see us get into the queue. Um, so great addition. Uh, and so yeah, uh, figured I'd show that on here. Uh, nothing really different at all. Um, there's a different interface, um, and you have a timer. But besides that, nothing changes strategy-wise. Besides the fact that we are drafting against humans, and it just means that um, you know, as the format evolves, um, your opponents will just naturally um, kind of start to recognize. So in this set. Um, you know, uh, Whisper Squad is really popular. Everybody knows that the cycling deck is really powerful. So those kinds of things just naturally occur. Whereas um, bots didn't really um, dynamically change how they were picking cards. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna, sh not sure if I'm gonna play the whole entire draft here. I might just play three games. Um, that's a pretty classic one, a classic way of doing it. Um, I like doing it like this. I'm not sure what's the best way of doing it. Um, I don't know, I go back and forth. Um, here is Easy Mythos. Um, it's two, it's it's essentially just a three mana murder that's easier to cast, um, and if you end up obs on, great. But um, yeah, three mana kill a creature is, at instant speed, is uh, always going to be good, and it's never not going to be good. Um, here, I'm just gonna take the Sea Dasher Octopus. I feel like it's a great rare that's just always good. And like Nightmare Whisper, or uh, Cavern Whisper, um, or is like not insanely better, um, and like it, this is this is definitely better than Sea Dasher Octopus because this is this is just the same card but better and has flash. So two back-to-back -back rares um, going well. Um, you're kind of into the Pouncing Shark um, again. Another flash. Flash is always good, um, and bouncing a creature is nothing to scoff at. Um, although Easy Prey might be better. Um, I think with our previous picks, probably. Um, even though Pouncing Shore Shark is fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna try taking Easy Prey here and see how that goes. Um, okay. Here, like Frostbell Ambush. I mean, Glimmer Bell is good with Sea Dasher Octopus, but I'm not sure how much I like that. That might be a, a good thing to do, just to kind of say, hey, like, let's have the good card. For C Dash Octopus immediately. And just take good cards out for that. I'm not even sure about Phosphate Ambush. You know what? Phosphate Ambush is way too good. It's just going to go in every single deck, especially if it's blue. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Phosphate here. It's just too good. Um, here, I'm not really into the Poacher. I'm looking at the Vulpkeet or the Flourishing Fox or like Fertilid because we already have a bunch of like already have two cycling cards. I think because of that, I'm kind of more interested in the Flourishing Fox and the Vulpakeet. I guess Vulpakeet's good with Sea Dasher. Wow, this is really tough. Um, I think the cycling deck's too good. I'm just gonna take the Flourishing Fox here. Like, if we again end up in, like, blue-white cycling, even though I don't think that's likely. Like, I feel like that's just insane. Um, so yeah, let me show you, like, they have this interface. This interface doesn't do much, just telling you that, that how many packs each person has, and kind of seeing the way in which they go around the table. But I don't know anything about these people, so it's not really important, and you can still change up things in here. So, uh, yeah, great addition to the game. Glad to see this here. Um, they've talked about adding, like, cubes, um, since they have that capability now. Um, so that's always nice to see. Always happy to see uh, new content. Uh, yeah.
Okay, so here we have fight as one, which is a good way to protect your creatures. King Caesar's interesting, but I think I'm going to take Startling Development here. Um, it's great, again, for like protecting, still great for protecting like Sea Dash or Octopus or even Flourishing Fox, and it's a cheap cycler, so I think it's better than these two cards over here, at least at this point in the draft. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here I'm not quite sure how to go about this. We have the Pangolin, but Pangolin's not great, especially with our Mutate cards right now. I think I'm just taking the Tiger, since it's a Flyer. We're in like a weird area where like we want to be playing like cycling cards, but like I really want to play the Sea Dasher Octopus. But I'm gonna go with the Tiger here. Might just end up cutting like uh might still end up being um, black white and just splashing the sea dash octopus. Here I love Blitz Leech. It's just such a good card. I'm just kind of obsessed with how playable it is. Um, like a, if you told me a six mana five two, I would laugh. But like its ability and like the fact that it has flash is just so good. I'll take it here. Okay. So here actually, ooh, I was going to say taking the Scarab Barons is nice, but the Frostvale Ambush is so good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Frostvale Ambush. The Scarab, I, I'm sad to pass the Scarab Barons, just because I feel like that would really help us out here. But yeah, I'm going to take the Frostvale Ambush. Okay, Thieving Otter is great. Um, that kind of sets us back in the right direction of trying to play blue. And I think this lets us know that we should be playing with white. Um, we might splash like, easy prey or like, Blitz Leech, but, yeah. Um, I'll take the Crystal here, I guess, because it helps us with blue and white, but I don't expect to be playing it, so I'm going to put it off to the side for now. Uh, I'll take Anticipate. It's a spell. Um, I think both of these are bad, but I'll take the Raptor over it, I guess. Doesn't matter. I guess I would have rather had. Oh no, it's combat damage. Never mind. Uh, ooh. Okay. Do you want to play like blue white flyers? Um. <sighs> that's weird. Um. Like so, this could be interesting with like Sea Dasher Octopus. Um. Same with like this card. I like this card. I think this is the better card here, even though like this is a rare. I feel like these two cards are really good here, and like this is not that powerful. Yeah, I'm actually going to take the Wingspan Mentor here, and hope to wield the Huron. Wow, we have another one, if I want, which I think I do. Yeah, like we don't have that many humans. And so I'm going to take out these and just like try and play this. Could even just like take out the foxes and just like be um, blue black still. Could also take this. But I want to take this first. Having two of those is really nice. Okay. Um, so we could take another Blitz Leech. We could take. I don't think I want the vigilance. Um, could take this. This is a great card for the cycling. And this card's not that impressive. And it's also a human, so we can't even like mutate onto it. Yeah, I'm gonna take the valiant rescuer. I'm in a really weird spot. Uh, okay. Well, now I'm in less of a weird spot because there's a tranquil cove here, and there's a flourishing fox. The second flourishing fox kind of seals the deal. Uh, and like. Having so many other good cards in this back, like Startling Development, um, and yeah, I'm gonna take, just take the Tranquil Fox. Uh, I'm gonna put this put those off to the side and keep it like that. Um, I could take the Checkpoint Officer, um, but I think I'm just gonna take the Jellyfish here. I guess this already has Flying Eagle, though. So does so does uh, the Tiger. But still, this is an early mutate for Sea Dasher Octopus. 
and also this works for Glimmer Bell, so that's actually kind of interesting. Now I really wish I took the White Rare. Um, could take Tranquil Cove here or Startling Development, but I th so I think Startling. Since we're committing more to to Blue White, I'm going to take the Startling Development here. All right. Um, so interesting. There's a flyer here. There's also a pacifism. I think the pacifism is better than the random flyer. This guards text is sometimes relevant, but I think removal is just going to be more reliable. Uh, all right. So another cycling card, um, and we're not missing out on too many cards. Like the the marmoset head is nice, but yeah. Okay. Uh, could take Divine Arrow, but I think since we already have two Flourishing Foxes and the Valiant Rescuer, we're just going to take another cheap cycling card. And again, a Divine Arrow, I think, has proven to be not as good. I think this is the perfect Snare Tactician deck. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I think this is the exact kind of deck that wants to play it. And we have a Draineth Healer here. This card's fine, but we don't... It, I'm not that into it. Uh, and, yeah... I think I'd rather just have another cycling card. or cycling. The question is, which one of these is more relevant? I think the crystal is more relevant. Um, no, I, I lie. I think the coordinator charge is more relevant. If we just, like, attack in the air for a bunch. Alright. So, love to finish this off with, um, some more flyers, I think. I'm gonna take that here, even though it doesn't really matter. Um, if this was a pod, I'd definitely take that, because I don't want to be playing against this card. Um, yeah. Alright, I'm going to take here. Alright, so we're not taking snap decks. Uh, one of mine might be the pick here. Let me check the rest. This card's, uh, with this card's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the mutate route. It's either def... A Draineth Healer or one of mine, and I think the one of mine is going to be better. Even though we have a ton of cyclers. I think we can get cheap cyclers fine. I think just if we end up playing this for one mana ever, it's just going to feel great. Alright. Um. So. Could just take Blade Banish. Might be the pick here. Um, I'm looking at this Gust of Wind. Potashia Tiger is interesting since we have a few creatures with that are humans, but I think the the removal is better here. And Gust of Wind is, I I'm not I'm not interested in trying that out right now. Um, okay, I think so. We have two choices here between. We have a lot of really powerful cards here, actually. So we have the Splendor Mare, Snare Tactician, the Frostlings, and the Thieving Otter. And I think of these, I'm most wanting to play... I mean, Thieving Otter is the best card. I think this card is better for our deck. I'm going to take the Thieving Otter here. Uh, I think with... The Snare Tactician will be fine. Uh, oh, that card's cool. Um, so we took, could take one of mine. Um, this card's interesting for a top end, or we could just take this for another cycling card. I think the cycling card is better here. I don't expect to be playing this card, although if we ever, like, mutate onto this card... Actually, since we have C-Dash or Octopus, I'm kind of into this. And this is kind of a way to have interaction. I'm gonna try that. That might be wrong. Um, okay, here I'm definitely going to take the Dreamtail Heron. It's a flyer and it mutates. Uh, yeah. So this is kind of an interesting Blue Eye Flyers take. Um, so here we have Capture Sphere and Pacifism, both of which kind of do the same thing, but one's cheaper. Um, yeah, so let's do that. I mean,. Capture Sphere might be relevant since it has Flash, but I think that's not as important. Uh, I'm just going to take the Draineth Healer. I could splash the Zenith Flare, but I don't think I have any red sources, and I don't want to make my deck worse. I'm just going to have the good Cyclarn and call it a day. Um, 
None of these cards are very enticing. This is card is like a blue and a black source for like easy prey. But like that doesn't seem all right, actually and mythos maybe. So I'll take it, put it in the sideboard, but I don't think I actually want to do that. Take another Draineth Healer. Always great. Um Okay, here I might take the Gust of Hope. Uh, I don't think this is useful and I don't really I mean, it's two mana, but I don't think I want to play that. I think I just want to have some kind of interaction. Oh, wow, getting the Frost Things back was insane. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, put a counter on the creature tip. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that this was just a removal spell. Um, Alright, let me do that. A tap an untapped creature you control. Yeah, but it's sorcery speed, and that's pretty bad. Ooh, wow, Blade Banish. Yeah, I think Swallow Hole is going to be a no for me. But we have some decisions to make. Um, I think we can actually take out the Coordinated Charge now, as well as might take out the Easy Prey, since we're never going to want to cast it. Or since we're never going to try to cast it. And take out the Anticipate here. Um... Yeah, this is looking good. All these cards are so powerful. Um, might take out the Gust of Wind. Um, since that's like probably our weakest 4 mana card. Uh, let's see. So we need to, Yeah, we definitely need to cut some non-creature cards. Um, so... Maybe we cut... Uh, Will Yeah, that might be the wish card. Since we're not gonna want to be blocking. Um hmm. could cut the Vantasaur. Since we have a ton of creatures. We have en enough creatures now, and this is like a a, a suboptimal card. Um might also cut the tiger now. Just kind of want to keep our, our curve low since we have so many cards that draw spells. So we can dump all of them. Um, yeah. Startling development is fine. Um, Living Honor is fine. These are all fine. Yeah, I'm actually going to cut the tiger here. Um, actually, I think it's good with the Wingspan Mentor. God, this is tough. This is really tough. Um... Could cut Glimmer Bell at this point. I think that's correct. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I think it's not as strong of a card. Uh, I'm really impressed with this because all these cards are so powerful. Let's cut Blade Vanish. Uh, let's cut one of them, and let's cut. Let's see, a Draineth Healer. Oh, I got a couple one more card. How many cards we got with Cycling? Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven. So that's really not a lot. Uh, might need to put this back in, as well as the easy prey. Hmm. Yeah, this really didn't go the way I wanted in terms of cycling. Um, hmm. Let's take out those as well as like yeah I'm gonna take out the tiger here <sighs> I'm just not sure just want the not a human and a non-human yeah um no, let's cut the tiger and put the drainage healer back so this way we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I feel like that's fine. Um, and Flourishing Fox here is kind of just functioning as like a cheap card for like uh, Z-Dash or Octopus or uh, Heron to cycle onto. Yeah. I mean, I could put back this for something. For like, I don't want to do it for like one of mine. 
Maybe I can, since, like, we have enough draw cards. Maybe one of mine is just not good enough. Like, a divination is just not what we need. Like, our divinations are just our otters and our, and our octopus. Uh, and, like, mutating heron. I think I like that idea. And just having another cycler for flourishing foxes and valiant rescuer. Okay. I like this. Let's try this out. Interesting take on like kind of like a blue white flyers to go a blue white tempo um, in draft. Haven't seen that before, and I'm curious to see like how how well people are prepared for this, and also how well it performs. Um, all right, here's just a fantastic start: um, a flourishing fox on one with a cycling card, as well as a pacifism and a potential mutate target, uh, as well as just like a good card to just play later on in the game. Oh, I was about to say, like, if they had a Flourishing Fox. So it looks like they have a Kahira, which is okay. So it looks like they are, have all cats, elementals, and dinosaurs and beasts. I'm not sure how many Nightmare... Oh, there might be Nightmares in this set, like the black cards. Interesting. Oh, it's got all the little creatures in it. Oh, that's really funny. Alright, assuming that they attack, not blocking here, not even thinking about it. Please attack me. Alright, um... Yeah, just gonna... I'm not sure if I cycle... Yeah, I probably just cycle this here. Uh, okay. That's enticing. Um... So they could Divine Arrow here, but I'm okay with that. Alright, they just said nothing. So here we can play Sea Dasher Octopus and have a 3-3, uh, as well as if we draw like another Cycling card. So here they could play Kahira, and that's okay. And actually can curve Sea Dasher Octopus into Heron and make it a 3-4 that does all that stuff. So that's cool. So they're gonna get a soldier here, so um let's just attack with the fox here. Okay, they just let that go. Um yeah I'm just gonna Pass and end of turn Sea Dasher Octopus. I guess I could have done the same thing with Thieving Otter, but this way I get to do it end of turn. That's fine. Alright, here we're gonna play our Octopus. And we're going to lead back Flourishing Fox this time. Um, so we're going to get to draw a bunch of cards here. Um, They could like sack their dude. Oh, they're easy praying that. Okay. Um, that's scary. I actually don't think I can attack here now. Oh man, that's real rough. Um, yeah. Now I'm like really concerned. Ooh, that's an elemental. That's spicy. And actually, that's gonna stay around even after it loses all. What? They had made a plummet? Oh my god. Well, that's just... unfortunate. I don't know how you combat that. Um, I guess we should use our mana. 
and like play this and like pacifism this. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, now they just oh yeah we have, they have lethal. Yeah wow. Um wow. Yeah, I think our plan of uh, playing a slow game wasn't going to work against the uh, one drop into Kahira deck. All I have to do is attack with everything and I will concede. Yeah, there you go. Alright. So, rough game one. Um, yeah, I don't think that was on the deck there. I think that was just... Uh, and even um, the removal spells that we have, or like the blade banishes, would not have done anything there. Uh, yeah. So I think let's just keep going. <laughs> Alright, this ends a clear mulligan. Uh, no, like we have cyclers, but uh, we don't have a single white source, so this hand's much better. Um, I'm just gonna put this expensive card on the bottom, um, and actually we can potentially. Okay, we already drew into our third land, um, but this is really nice because we get to cycle Frostbale ambush. Uh, oh, we can actually cycle that. Um, let's just attack. Uh, and actually cycle that end of turn. Um, yeah, let's cycle. And actually, we're gonna play the Thieving Otter here, so that next turn we can use Wingspan Mentor on it, and just have our own little Sea Dasher Octopus kind of card. And we'll still have mana up to cycle Frostvale Ambush. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep. Let's just play this on Thieving Otter. So our Thieving Otter is flying. Yeah, I'm okay trading our Flourishing Fox for the Necropanther. And we get to draw a card. And we drew a Pacifism. And we drew another Flourishing Fox. <laughs> um... Fantastic. That is a okay. Um, I'm gonna attack first, just with our thieving otter. Not gonna put a counter on it yet, because uh, I'd like to be able to hold off the one one. Ooh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> Uh, let's just play our Flourishing Fox. Could cycle here. This is two mana? No, it's three mana. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold up the Dranith Healer cycling, as well as the activation of that. So you can't mutate onto anything here because they're both humans. Yep, we will gladly take three. Alright, so there's their retake guy. Uh, we will go ahead and... Let's cycle first. Alright, let's activate this to put a counter on our Thieving Otter. So let's play this guy here. Good pacifism that, but I'm not bad. And actually, since they're going to, so this is where pacifism is really bad. But I guess it's fine. So we're to pacifism on this, uh, and it means they still get to mutate onto it if they want. But uh, yeah, and I guess let's attack. Not with everything, just with these. All right. So there, there's no reason to cycle the Dranith Healer just yet. And, ooh, oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, I just got chills. Uh, we can do that on our Thieving Otter. <laughs> which I'm actually going to do, actually, if I can. Oh, 
play that and pass. Oh, that's dirty. Ugh. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I need a shower after that. Oh, Bosh. Sure. It's only odd converted mana cost, right? That's hilarious. Um, yeah, let's just mutate onto here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just put it, put it like that. That's disgusting. Alright, I will just go ahead and draw two cards. I'll play this Snarethopter, which would be nice. And let's pass, right? Yeah. This is two mana, yeah. So we don't get to put a counter on our dude, but we get to make sure that this Obosh can't attack by cycling the Drandeth Healer and using the Snare Tactician's ability. Oh, this is so filthy. Might deck ourselves. <laughs> no, we're not going to deck ourselves, but it would be theoretically possible to deck ourselves, realistically. Oh, this is disgusting. Alright, so there they're moving to combat here. Um, I think I'm just going to use the uh, checkpoint officer to do this. Um, I'm totally fine with um, them attacking us. Yeah, with... Alright. Um... I don't think there's a creature that has flash that is flying that's in black or white, so let's just tap you down. Alright, and we had another Dranda Thieler here. Uh, I mean, I guess this just kills them, right, because this makes 4-4s. Four so oh, no, no, it'd just be 5 damage. But, yeah, let's get in there. Let's leech, nice. Uh, let's make you a 4-4. Four -four. And let's also tap your dude down. Alright, that seems like a, a nice way of accomplishing things. We still have lethal, and even if we didn't, we got to draw a bunch more cards. So there, our strategy was way more effective uh, against our opponent's strategy than the last time. Um, yeah, I think this is kind of just trying to combat a certain style. Ooh, did our quests. Alright. On to game two. Or game three. We already lost one. <laughs> so I think will just be our last one for this video. Uh, and I might do another video if the next game goes well. But I think that was a really good showing for... Um, First of all, just why um, Thieving Otter is just a fantastic card, but also the Mentor, the Flying Mentor, I think is clearly one of the better ones, um, since, first of all, a lot of cards in blue and white already have flying. Um, some of the other colors, like the um, the Menace one in red, um, or the Vigilance one in white, like, not a ton of cards. I can think of, like, the Dinosaur, the Six Mana Dinosaur, or, like, the... Um, the man serval and white that both have vigilance so like that's why the white one's not played as much in my, in my opinion at least like yes it gives something vigilance but it's much more effective when you not only have like targets for it but also um, creatures that already have the keyword that they're looking for so yeah Alright, another fantastic hand, very similar to the original hand. I think Flourishing Fox and Pacifism are both of those. No cycling cards for Flourishing Fox yet, but I think it's worth the keep, as well as, like, you could just put Wingspan Mentor uh, as counter on Flourishing Fox, and it could be very effective. And another Flourishing Fox. Um, I'm going to attack first. And I think I'm just going to play it. Draw any cycling card, even if we don't, we play the Snare Tactician and then draw a cycling 
cards, excuse me. Ooh. Okay. Not great. Uh, let's just play the Snare Tactician and pass. Yeah, so here if they mutate would be a little bit irritating, but that's okay. Um, they'd have to have a very specific card. That's fine. Okay. So here, you can actually mutate Flourishing Fox. Yeah, which I like. Definitely gonna put it over. Uh, and this will potentially draw us to another cycling card. Um, yeah. Here, if they mutate now, it's gonna be really uh, scary. Because they can put it on a Fertilid, which would make it keep the counters. But we'll see. I'd really like to draw a cycling card. Any cycling card would help us so much here. Uh, and just so people know, uh, even though this card uh, reads, when you cycle a card, put a counter on Flourishing Fox, it is still referring to that card. So um, it's the fact that this card's name is now Dreamtail Heron doesn't matter. It's still going to get the counter. Interesting. So they're using Fertilid's ability here. Um, puts it to play tap, so it's not going to help them that much. Odd, odd thing here. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use Wingspan Mentor on Flourishing Fox, uh, and just get in for four. Uh, again, now. Any, any cycling card just puts so much pressure on our opponent. I'm not sure if I should have put a passivism on something. It doesn't really matter since if they do... Like, we're not dying from an attack. And um, pacifism just... It, we want to make sure that whatever we put pacifism on is a card that they made larger. Because um, if we, like, you know, if we pacifism the, fer um, the symbiote, then they just um, put a big thing on the fertilid. All right. So they get a permanent. A permanent is a 1-1. One, one. That's okay. Oh, it's put a plus and plus encounter on that creature. Interesting. So like this isn't even like that important of a target. Yeah, now we just passivism onto the Sterix. And it doesn't remove it. But oh that was fantastic. Okay. Um I'm actually gonna cycle that now. Yeah. Um, am I? No, I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, and then, um, and then, it, um, yeah, let's do this. Let's activate you now, and put a counter on both of these, and then attack. Um, so that next turn... We definitely have lethal, and we're not dying to anything. Yeah, that's fine. Like, they have to get rid of both our wingspan. Er, no. They can just get rid of one of these. But they haven't shown to have removal reliably. Yeah, that's fine. They get a 3-3. They're dead in the air. Wow. Really impressive. Yeah, I guess they gained some life. That's... How much does this help? I guess it doesn't really... Oh, are they gonna have something fight? Oh, That's... really sad. Alright. Now I, like, have to... Maneuver my way around this, uh, this dude. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, does that help? Doesn't help that much. Um, yeah, let's just... Activate this. And get in for three. None of them have reach, right? Yeah. 
has no reach. It can't even block. What am I talking about? Alright, let's just pass. Uh, and actually, I'm going to hold on to the startling development, because this could potentially give us lethal next turn. I'm pretty sure. This is really close. Okay. Are they removing the enchantment somehow? How much damage is this? This is 1, 2, 3. This is 4, 12, 15, 17. Okay, if they're holding that back, that's fine. Uh, yeah, if they just attack with those, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, they can pump this once. So it's a 4-4, four, four, this is only 15 damage. Yeah, it's fine. No blocks. Do you have like two pump spells that make stuff huge? Sure. Okay, you are very dead, sir. Alright. Alright. We are gonna cycle ourselves this. Tap down the symbiote. Let's go to our turn. Or we could just do that. Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just BM. Over. Uh, we can do it on that. It doesn't really matter. Whew. Close game. Yeah, Sterex is might be a problem if they just get it on early for this deck. Um, but there we were able to, to deal with it effectively. Alright. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I might make another video uh, where I continue with this deck uh, and just focus more on uh, play. Um, but yeah, um, that was a, a really interesting showing of the deck. Um, probably not the best flourishing deck, but definitely the best Sea Dasher, Octopus, and Thieving Otter, as well as um, Wingspan Mentor. Definitely the best wing. I mean, we got two in the deck. The deck's basically based around the card. Um, so yeah. So, hope this was fun. Uh, I certainly enjoyed um, drafting this. But, alright. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitch, RoxRoy1098. Uh, and if you like this video, leave a like and comment. And I'll see you next time.